Hi, my name is Shirley Gutkowski. I'm a dental hygienist and I'm sitting here in my home office because I've hung up my scalers and I am now an author and a researcher and a speaker. And I'd like to talk to you today about your diagnosis of periodontal disease. I'm assuming you found me because you were looking up periodontal disease and what it takes to treat it and whether or not you really have it. Most likely you were told recently that you have periodontal disease and I'm here to tell you that you probably do. Up to 90% of the population has periodontal disease. I know it sounds unbelievable and uh, the statistics kind of go back and forth, but somewhere between, get this, 50 and 90% of us have some form of gum disease. What you were also told is that it is very likely that you're going to lose teeth if you don't do anything about your gum disease, and that's true too. However, it's not the only thing. The problem with gum disease is that it really affects your entire body. As your body is trying to fight off the infection, you are susceptible to things that are created on account of that infection. Some of those things are collagenase or collagenase or however you say collagen enzyme. And what happens with collagen enzymes as they are forming and going throughout your entire body is that they are breaking down collagen all over the place. They are not just breaking down the collagen that holds your teeth in. So really, you could argue that if you don't take care of your periodontal disease, you are at risk of looking older. I know, it's horrible. But that's really the truth of it. The other truth of it is that the bacteria that's in your mouth causing this infection is also causing the rest of your body to make other chemicals. Chemicals that are causing arterial plaques. You and I have heard about this for a long, long time, and we used to think it was all about cholesterol. What we're finding is that it's all about inflammation and your body's response to inflammatory products. So not that you're consuming the inflammatory products, your body is really making them. So it's really important to get rid of the inflammation, and you do that in one way by getting rid of the infectious components in your mouth. Those arterial plaques lead to things like stroke, heart attack. They also lead to things like pancreatic cancer and uh, low birth weight babies and preterm babies. There's a lot of things that happen on account of a periodontal infection and the least of it almost is bad breath and losing your teeth. So it's real important that you take care of it. Find yourself a hygienist that you trust. That's one of the key components. And tr make sure that they're doing a diagnostic that does not include only pocket depth readings. If all you have are pocket depth readings, then you will never ever really know if you have gum disease. You need to have a bacterial test of some kind. And you also need to measure the, the inflammatory components in your blood. So find a dentist and a dental hygienist team where they do do blood testing or they at least are looking at the blood test to make sure that your treatments are being adequate. So if you need to get in touch with me, I do offer one-on-one -on -one consulting. My name is Shirley Gutkowski, G-U-T-K-O-W-S-K-I. You can find me everywhere on the internet. Thanks so much and I wish you very much 